Yes, your camera. It's called Meg's camera and no one touches it. <laughs> Meg, absolutely nice. She's been naughty, and uh, every time I come up to her, she kind of scampers away like a naughty dog, saying, uh, "You're not going to catch me." <laughs> so what we'll do today is we'll ask Meg some uh, hashtag Ask Meg questions. There's a few that have come through. Well, that, that's a lie. There's uh, thousands of questions that have come through. I'm sorry that I haven't been getting around to answering them all but uh, it has been very busy here at the sanctuary uh, so there's never ever a dull moment especially when you're looking after these creatures uh, yeah lately they are keeping me on my toes the other thing about the the wet weather is it tends to um, intensify a lot of the smells so even old uh, elephant poop becomes interesting again so yeah the, the environment at the moment is rich with smells and the lions are just having an absolute blast uh, being out here and uh, yeah rolling around in them hey Maggie look at that face hey sweetie Oh, it does smell nice. There. Yeah. <laughs> and like that, they're off. <laughs> you can see I'm going to battle to keep up today. But anyway, let's see how it goes. Okay, now that uh, Meg has got most of her initial energy released, uh, it could be a good idea to put her camera on, Meg's camera. <laughs> saying to the guys how many lions do you know who own their own GoPro you can see there it says they're Meg it's also one of the few lions I know that will actually wear a harness so still find that quite incredible so it is lovely to go for a walk or a drive after the rain because you can absolutely see all the different activity along the roads or through the the bush especially along the game paths Alright, so the reason why you should never let a lion out of your sight wearing one of your cameras is because as soon as she's out of your sight, she goes and rolls in something and uh, loses it. So Meg has lost her camera. So yeah, I'm now on my way to go and look for it. I'm not quite sure if I can pick up some Wi-Fi reception because if I can pick it up I can find it I found some of their tracks here so I'm just going to follow their tracks look what I found <laughs> thanks to Meg Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to believe this, but Miss Prissy over here led me to the GoPro. So <laughs> perhaps there's a new uh, kind of dog in town. It's called a, a lion dog with exceptional tracking abilities. <laughs> so, <laughs> and in she goes again. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe that. I mean, the odds of finding this, and it wasn't even, I didn't even find it because of the Wi Fi, because she's actually bumped a setting. So I am a happy, happy camper. The commonly asked question um, is when walking with the lions, if I came across the wild lions, uh, would firstly Megan and Amy protect me, and secondly, or any of the other lions for that matter, and secondly, um, what would they do? Um, so obviously the the aim here is never ever to 
come into contact with the wild lions. Um, and so we are continuously monitoring the areas uh, for, for signs and tracks of, li of the lions. Um, we can also make use of the telemetry, which is um, very uh, fortunate. Um, but generally speaking, uh, like all creatures, great and small, lions are creatures of habit. And so we know the group of lions that hangs about in this area, and we know generally where they like to go and where they like to hang out. Um, so we look for signs of them in those areas and then we make informed decisions as to where uh, we walk the lions. Um, so in the five years that I've been here, we've never uh, come across the wild lions because uh, we obviously take that component of the walking extremely seriously and the idea is never to have a confrontation. And if ever I see that the lions are picking up a scent that is very strong, um, and you will notice this by the way they react. Almost the hair on the neck starts to bristle. Uh, they show a completely uh, different different demeanor. So one always has to be looking at them, looking at the behavior, looking at what they're doing, uh, seeing how intense the smells are, um, and then taking cognizance of that. And if any bone in my body gives me a bad vibe I will load the lines up and that will be the end of the walk so if we did come across some wild lines would Megan Amy protect me um, the answer is Megan Amy it wouldn't be so much about protecting Kevin it would be about uh, fending off these intruders so you know Megan Amy would kind of bandy together and and either run away or confront uh, but knowing them as well as I do I think they would confront and I think they would kind of expect me to join in and they would be kind of like looking and saying hey guy why aren't you doing anything um, so yet another reason why I wouldn't want to um, have to um, show what I was made of in front of the girls I wouldn't want to disappoint them um, so yeah I hope that answers the question obviously the the name of the game is to allow the lions to have a enrichment walk uh, but to do it as safely as possible so thanks for watching that installment of hashtag ask Meg. please do stay tuned uh, for more um, if you did enjoy that please do share i'm just so thankful i've got my camera back <laughs> can't wait to see the footage i don't think it's anything exciting i don't think they went to chase anything but uh, I am a happy camper. If you're not subscribed to Lion Whisperer TV, please do so. Um, and obviously all the other social media channels, that would be fantastic. Join us for more of these exciting walks that are, are both informative, educational, and of course entertaining. <laughs> Especially when the lions lose your camera. So uh, until next time, cheers.